your strength. Do not say me. But you must go back and find Michael. No, it's too late for me. You must go in my place. You have to find him. Matthew will save him. No, I cannot. You are the only other one who can communicate with Matthew. Please, John, you can do this. Matthew, you must take him. You have to go now. The black holes, there will never again be enough energy. This is our last chance. Do it, John. Find the warrior. No, no, no! All right, new plan then, but we must go now. I understand, soldier, we have lost another, a very important one. The only way to save her is to go back and change what will be. We must move, soldier. I am not a soldier. You are now. Now what? Apparently, John is going to take her place. But he is an idiot. I am right here. Just do it, soldier. Put this on. This will protect from the radiation. Ow! I know it stings on exposed skin, but think of it as a lubricant. Trying to fit through a tight hole. You cannot transport metal, so you cannot take the spray with you. So coming back will be hard and perhaps more painful. Perhaps? The energy from the black hole will only last for 48 hours. After that, you will die. Huh. Well, this just keeps getting better and better. Do you need help? No, I never need help. All right, initiation all set. Three energy surges ready to go. You must make it back in the exact same location in exactly 48 hours. No, wait, wait. Why do I have to go first? Because you are the most expendable. This has been a great pep talk. If you make it. If? When you make it, move immediately so we have room for another. <sighs> okay. hard for. You must hold on tight. We are all depending on you. But do me a favor. Eat a cheeseburger. Matthew! Matthew, it worked! It really, really worked! Can you believe it? Wow! Can you feel it, Matthew? Can you feel the power in the sun, in the air, everything? Matthew, look at the trees. Those are trees. This is beautiful. This is like a dream. Oh, no. Diane, 
Zion! 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 It is me, John! It is me, John! I'm all right, soldier. <coughs> I just... I need a moment. Oh, you lost a glove. We must find you another one. Why are you shouting? What? I said, why are you sh well, It looks like we made it in one piece. What about the chair? We need it to get back, right? I have it. It does not budge. Matthew says it is the portal. It cannot move. Then how do we know this is the right place? Or the right year? It's 2017, dude. Yeah, you're in Wichita, Kansas. Nice chair, dude. <laughs> Thank you. It worked. It really worked. Yes, she certainly did it. Yes, she did. We made it, Mary. Thank you. Oh, right. We must find new clothing. We must assimilate. You guys aren't from around here, are you? Why do you ask that? No reason. Now we look like members of modern society. Hey, wow, what is that? That? That statue? That's the keeper of the plains, man. It's a tribute to the native people. Are you native? Yes. Yes, I am. I can say that now. Oh. Do you know this man? We need him desperately. No, I don't. I'm sorry. Hey, if you guys are hungry, a block down the street, there's a soup kitchen that's open. Do they have cheeseburgers? I don't know. It's whatever's donated, man. All right. Well, thank you. Long live the nation. Long live what? I don't have to say that anymore, do I? We're not from around here. Wow. So this is what it was like before the plague and the Great War? People could just walk around in the sun and do whatever they wanted? What is that? That is beautiful. Is that what we were like? Oh, we need to find you something to eat. We must find the soup kitchen. What are you doing? Making sure we are safe. The nation can be anywhere. Well, unless they built their own time travel device, they will not be here. They can be anywhere. Wow. Look at that. I do not know what it is. It is some sort of robot that eats metal discs. Matthew asks, what are you doing? No metal could travel with us, but we will need weapons. Hey, guys, I was wondering if you could help me out. I'm super embarrassed, but my car ran out of gas a couple of blocks back. You have back a car? I, yeah, I totally do, and my wife is going to be really pissed off You are off at me married? Like, what is that like? It's super. <laughs> Look, if I could just get like $20, I can totally pay you back and get me through the deck. Crap, what? Here, just take it. I don't need this. Man. Thank you. Look, Matthew. Now we can feed the robots. What are you doing? What do you mean? Have you forgotten how important this mission is? How important this being is next to you? No. This mission is your top priority. Nothing else. Can we at least eat? Matthew is hungry. Are you not tired from the journey? Yes. Yes, it has been taxing. 
and we need sustenance. But we are short on time. Zion was a model nation officer with a career of outstanding and dedicated service. As a reward, he was given a mate to bear children with, and they had two little girls. Everything should have been perfect for Zion, but soon troubles began to plague him. He often went days without sleep, and he began to have flashbacks of the Great War. One night on patrol, he saw a guard assault a level five worker by the name of Mary. The officer invaded her and left her to die. Against protocol, Zion helped her. But the next day, he saw his family gunned down by 12-year-old soldiers. It changed Zion, changed him forever. Zion escaped the nation and joined the rebels, vowing to help them take down the nation at any cost. What he didn't know was that that cost would be $20 and some change to feed the robots. I do not think this was a cheeseburger. We must leave quickly. What's, what's wrong? The man, the man with long hair, did you see him? I did not, but, oh, but Matthew says he did and he believes he means us no harm. We will see about that. Let us move. Find a crowd. Just, they're just role playing. They're just role playing. It's all good. Come on. I mean, look at how they're dressed, right? <laughs> what was that? Everything is just so different here. That cannot happen again. I did not want it to happen the first time. What? Uh, uh, excuse me. Is it you? Are you him? Who are you? Did the nation send you? No, what? No, ain't no nation here, dude. Just chill, just chill. Totally on your side, man. Totally on your side. Unless you're with the government. You're not with the government. Totally on your side, dude. Matthew believes him. I will not let anything happen to him. Do you understand? You should probably get a breath, man, dude. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, understand. Dude, I'm here to help, man, seriously, seriously. My name is Hugo DeSanto, and I have been waiting a very, very long time for this day to come, man. Can I ask something of you? May I see 
palms up your gloves. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I just, I just, you have no idea how long I've been waiting for this, man. Uh, there's a lot we need to talk about. Oh, oh, Matthew, are you okay? I, 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 no, it was my fault. I am sorry. It will not happen again. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh, have been waiting for this moment for a very long time and I'm just not adequately prepared. My offerings are very meager. I apologize. Matthew says this is more than enough and thanks you. You have been very kind. Matthew also says you do not have to bow. I think he doesn't talk. Not with his voice. You guys hear him though, right? I can hear him. How is that even possible? I do not know exactly. I just can. That is why I am here. That makes you a special dude, then. No. There is nothing special about me. That's your name? Matthew? Who are you, dudes? I am John. Level 5 worker from the trenches. And that is Zion. An officer of the nation. <coughs> A, a former officer of the nation. He is here to protect us. I am here to protect Matthew. You dudes are the natives, though. Yes, we, we would have been called Native Americans before the Great Plague and the Great War. John, Matthew, what's up with the uh, Christian names? They were given to us by the nation. They are godly. Not your real names, then. No, not from birth. What are your real names, then? I... We... We do not know. I myself was very young when the nation took over. And for others, that is all they know. You guys are really from the future! Can't believe this! How do you know all this? There's something I need to show you. Something I need to show you right now. That's not the new secret knock. Larry, that's not the knock. Larry, just let us in. Guys, this is uh, my assistant, Larry. Sup? Larry, this is him. Him? Oh, no way, holy shit! Boot language, please, show a little respect. Just get the, just get the presentation, dude. My friends, please, please come and sit. I'll explain everything, I promise.
My bad. Sorry. Uh, Larry. All I ever wanted to do in my life was make comic books. It's the only thing I really ever do right in my life. Draw comic books, write comic books, make comic books. You know, over time, I felt that I'd gotten really good at it. Somewhere along the way, I became quite a success. Little money in my pocket, little fame, little fortune. I was living what we call the American dream. I really had it all, man. It was until the dreams. The dreams came. The dreams came and changed everything. These dreams, they took me to a really, really dark place, man. They took me to the future. Your future. I watched my country become a prison, man. I watched as the country became a death camp, you know? I watched in horror as entire races of people were enslaved, tortured, abused, put to death. This was no American dream. This is no American dream at all. If you weren't one of the fortunate few, your life was a living hell. You know, I felt every bone break. I felt every bullet hole. I felt every family just torn apart and destroyed. And I would have ended it all, man, but there is hope. Then he comes in the dream. This man was coming to save his people, and this man in turn would save us all. I woke up with the dreams. They never let go. They weren't just dreams, man. They were prophecies. This was real. What could I do about it, you know? I mean, I'm not a warrior. I'm not a soldier. I'm not a prophet. So I did the one thing I knew how to do well. I made comic books. I shared them. Soon I found that there was a legion of fans and followers and all of us believed that this man from the future, the man from the year 2081 was coming to change the way things were. And we'd all be ready for him. We'd all be ready to help the man that we've known as Red Hand. You. So, how do we help? We need to find Michael Warrior. He is sick. You came back from the future to find this guy? That is our mission. So you came back to find this Michael... Warrior. He is a technological genius, and he was working on a breakthrough that we could have used, will use, in the future to bring down the nation's all-seeing computer system. My dear friend, Mary. She barely knew who you were. That is not true. She is, was, a tech genius like Michael Warrior was. I, I, I do not understand the details. I just know that whatever Michael Warrior was working on, Mary could have used to bring down the nation. But he died. He got sick and died. We are here to make sure that he lives and to change the future. So is this Mary that sent you back? In a way, she was killed by the nation. But if, if we save Michael Warrior, we save her. It is the only way. But we do not know where to begin. Do you? No. But I know somebody who does. Larry! Call Chad. Chad Doubleberry. Dude, Chad, I told these guys you would help them, man. So you're him, huh? The dude from the comics? Red hand, show a little respect, please. Yeah, respect this. What does that mean? Nothing, it's a gesture of respect. We need to find a man by the name of Michael Warrior, and we have less than 48 hours to do it. Why? 
because he'll invent a computer program that will save the native race in the future, if we save him first. Sorry, were you talking? Boom, found him. Mission Lakes Hospital. Was admitted a week ago, but... What? Disappeared. Uh-huh, this is some seriously fishy Matrix-style shit going down. What is this Matrix? You should definitely look into that. Hmm, security footage has him being led away and then into a white van. Oh yeah, who's your Huckleberry? Got the GPS on the van, and... Oh, come on, don't make it so easy. BAM! What's Popeye's problem, anyway? Here you go. Pen, paper, please, and you know what to pull. Booyah! That's the address they took him to. Go there and you got your boy. We're not looking for a boy. Are all these future types so little? Uh -huh. He's totally a man. Totally? It's sarcasm. Try it on for size sometime. I would like that. Can you transport us to this place? Absolutely, man. Whatever you need. Larry, get the van! Matthew, uh, Red Hand, would like to extend his most sincere gratitude. I just can't believe it's you, man. There's just so much I want to ask you. I, how can you heal people? Is it something you were born with? Matthew told me that he'd never known his parents, and the only life he could ever remember was being a slave to the nation. One day he saw guards bring an old man into his prison camp. The guards threw him into the ditch and left him to die. The old man called out to Matthew and said, Give me your hand. When the old man let go, he said, Use your power well, my son. Our people must live on. But he couldn't use this power without getting very sick and very weak. But he knew what this power was and that he'd have to save it. Save it for something very important. Something like this. I really so believe that I was chosen to have these visions of you arriving. It's changed my life, man. It's driven it. I'm so grateful for what you've done to me. This effect is so profound on me. And I will always be grateful, man. It's truly changed my life forever. and I'm just happy to serve you, Red Hand. by order of the nation. Are they the bad guys? From the future? Yes. Yes, they are very bad. I'm sorry, Mary. They have found us. Plot thickens. Love it. Show yourselves! You know what I've been sent here to do! How many of them are there? Unknown. But how can they transport weapons? Nothing metal can make it through. What he has is not metal. Yes, I know who he is very well. His name is Devid, officer from the trenches. Zion! I knew you in the lines. You were a good soldier, spared no one, and made the ungodly suffer. But that does not matter anymore. You are now a cowardly traitor. You know what the nation did to my family. We have all lost people, soldier. It is war. It does not have to be. We can end it all right here. Change the future. Yes, we can. Fighting's <laughs> busy, boss. The kick. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm.
Feel the power in the air all around us? In everything? You are still a fool. Do you think you will stop me? I will hurt you very badly. Not anymore. Not here. I have discs for the robots. <laughs> you know, I pitied you once. Who never saw everyone laugh behind your back? The ones you trusted? The ones you called friends? You? are worthless. You all made me believe that for so long. You made me bleed until I admitted it. But it was not true then, and it will not be true now. And look who found courage. Impressive, a little, but too late. Give me the healer. The nation, your nation, calls for it! You are not my nation! certain accounts. I, I haven't seen the activity for some time, but it's weird. It's increasing. Hmm. I can see that. You're an IT specialist, Michael, not an investigator. Your job is to make sure that the servers work and that the emails stay encrypted. Yes, sir. I just thought it, it was very suspicious. I, I waited to tell someone I could trust. Well, I'm sure it's very good work, Michael. I'll take a look at it. If it's anything serious, I'll pass it along. I'm sure it's nothing. Stuff that's way out of our league. We're pretty low on the totem pole, aren't we? So how's your work on that special project coming along? Uh, very good, sir. It's going to be pretty uh, useful. Uh, nearly undetectable in a major computer system. In fact, it'll be able to override it. I hope. I'm so close. You know, I don't understand a word you just said, right? <sighs> yes, sir. Still, that was very impressive, that article about you, in that magazine. What was it? Native life, sir. Thank you. I just want to represent my tribe. My nation. Your nation? Huh? Well, keep up the good work anyway. That's what all that grant money's for, right? Yes, sir. As for the rest of this stuff, let's just let that go, okay? I'm sure it's nothing, but I will pass it through. Don't you worry about that. Yes, sir. I just thought... Okay. Have a good day, sir. You too, Michael. If you hurry, you can still catch that food truck. There's a trail. Yes, it was supposed to be undetectable, but it's not. It doesn't matter who. If you can find it, it's findable. Fix it. Now what? Yes, sir. Sorry, yes. That is correct. We're fixing it as we speak, sir. Nobody, a, a college kid, Michael Warrior, IT intern, here on that whatchamathingy grant. Well, 
Yes, sir. Done. See how far it can go. Mr. Zion! <coughs> Mr. Zion! Wake up, man! Please wake up! We need you! Mr. Zion! Wake up, man! That dude from the future! He took him, man! How much time do we have left? I don't know, man. 20 hours, maybe? Oh. Got people ready for you, dude. Red hand followers got a whole army of them ready to go. They just need to know what to do Mr. Ryan, what the crap is that? How he found us. I forgot he was even there. We just you get used to how things are or were. The future doesn't sound so good anymore. That is why we are here to change it. I did not injure you. I did not know why you were pleading. No, no, I assure you, they are very tight. But it turns out, I need you. And not for the reasons you think. Yes, I assure you, he's alive. But only because he is your interpreter, of sorts. But what was that thing you did with your voice, that sound? I wonder if you could actually talk, say words. I do not believe you. Will you talk for me? Will you talk for him? Will you talk for him? Will you save him instead of the one you were sent here to save? No, do not do it. I am nothing. Save your strength. No! Red Hand Followers! Thank you all for coming, and thank you for believing. The Red Hand is indeed in our midst, but he needs our help. I, I personally have dreamt of this day for a very long time, as some of you have. And that day is now. No more comic books, no more playing around. This is very, very real. My native brothers and sisters, thank you so much for coming. It is you and your survival why Red Hand is even here. But he needs us. He needs us all. I don't know this is real. The time travel stuff. The comic book. Yeah. Well, I give to you Zion. A soldier from the future. I am not a leader. You are now. I give you Zion. Let me begin by telling you I am not well versed in addressing the soldiers or giving orders for that matter. I was never made a commander of the nation. Just a simple line soldier who was meant to follow orders. But ultimately orders I could follow no longer. My disobedience did not go unanswered. And the events that followed are what brings me here before you today. 
I am from a time that you have not seen as of yet. And let me tell you, things do not go well. This life, your freedoms, your relationships, even choice, are gone. Everything sanctioned only by the nation. Now I was sent here to find a man who would have a profound impact on those who you know as Native Americans. But right now this man is sick, he's injured, and he will not last the day. This man's name is Michael Warrior. Do any of you know him? How can he be a hero? He's just an ordinary kid. Nothing special. I used to tell people that very thing, that they were not special. It was my job. My job. It is not true. We are whatever we want to call ourselves. Soldiers. Warriors. Saviors. And friends. And what happens if we find him? Matthew will... <clears throat> Excuse me. Red Hand will heal him. He has to. Otherwise, our future is lost. But he has the means to do so. He has, he has this special power. I understand you've had healers among your people before, yes? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Now I myself, I do not understand this, this power that he wields, but he has it. Now Red Hand, he too was sent here for Michael Warrior to heal him. That is his mission. My mission was to protect him, but I failed him. I failed him in that task. Not long ago, I failed a similar task, a task. More of a promise of protection for my wife and children. My wife and children. This cannot happen again. I must make this right. The enemy, our enemy, right now has Red Hand captive. I need you to spread out and find him. But I urge you, do not try to apprehend him yourself. His hubris is matched only by his treachery and hate. He is a highly trained officer of the nation, and he will kill anyone who tries to stop him. Now right now, for some of you, it may seem futile that Red Hand is even alive. I tell you that he is. I know he is. I can't explain it. It's more than that though. I, I feel it. I feel that he is alive. More than I have felt anything ever. Red Hand is alive. I have never asked this of anyone, ever. I need your help. Will you help me? You have your orders. You all know what to do now. Red Hand followers, unite!
should be out there. Out where, dude? You don't even uh, know where to look, man. Let my people do the looking. Your time for action will come soon enough. But we are running out of time. Oh my god. Don't you know how to relax, dude? You do not even know what that means. Huh. Did it again. Why do, uh, why do all you uh, future dudes do that? Do what? <laughs> don't use contractions. Contractions? Yeah. Do not instead of just saying don't, will not instead of just saying won't. I guess we just do not. See? There you go again. Try it. Say don't instead of do not. I do not. I try it. I don't know. Hey, dude, there you go. Did you see how much time we just saved? No, I do not. Yes. <sighs> no, I don't know. We are wasting time. What do you think you ought to be doing, man? Running around the city, kicking in doors, looking in dumpsters, dude? I just am not used to feeling helpless. Oh, well maybe you're a uh, human after all, then. Hey, try something. Close your eyes. I will not. Come on, man. Just close your eyes. Relax a little bit. Let the energy start flowing around you, man. We're all connected. Everything's connected. You can feel it. Feel all that energy. All the energies will want, dude. And if you can feel that, he's out there. He's out there, man. I can feel it. I know you can feel it, dude. You said earlier that you didn't understand it and you didn't believe it, but that you felt it, man. Well, I feel it too, dude. We all feel it. I promise you, man, we're gonna find it and we're gonna change the future. I promise. What is this? What are you doing to me? I'm very sorry, Michael. I truly am. You're a good kid. A little too good. Leave us. Do you know George Orwell, the author? Not personally. 1984, true classic. A little bit wordy for my taste, but still a classic. Newspeak, big brother. These are terms that he coined. If we were living in the Orwellian world of 1984, I think you, Michael, would be guilty of double thinking. Do you know what that is? It's a lack of cognitive dissonance, if you will. A person who is completely unaware of any conflict or contradiction. Double think. Guilty, Michael, guilty. It's too bad. You are brilliant. Crazily brilliant, I give you that. But, like all brilliant minds, yours wonders once more. Wants answers. I don't understand. It's talking, Michael. It isn't polite to interrupt your superior. Some might even call it ungodly. I think you might know what you uncovered, Michael, don't you? My work. Oh, yes, your work. That's what got you here in the first place, isn't it? It wasn't enough for you. You had to keep looking for connections and links that shouldn't have been there. And that's what got you into trouble. There's another Orwellian term. Thought crime. One of the most extreme offenses. I must go now, Michael. Just need to know one thing. Did you tell anyone about what you found? The accounts, the networks? 
Do you have any of that backed up? No. No, I swear. Oh! Wouldn't matter anyway. You have no idea what you stumbled upon, do you? How big it already is, or will be. Yes, I do. But you'll never see it, Michael. It's not for your kind. The ungodly will be persecuted. Bach, it's got a nice ring to it, hasn't it? Maybe a great t-shirt. Maybe a heavy metal band, perhaps. You're going to die soon, Michael. And it will look as though you're an early casualty to something that will change the world for the better. It must be sad to know that your life has been meaningless, that you will have no impact whatsoever on the world. And for that, the nation thanks you. Not your nation, the nation. Take it. Hmm? Hmm? You have something you want to say, Michael? Get rid of this ungodly mess. You are not breathing. Does this happen often? He must eat. He must eat very soon. Did he tell you that? No, but, but look at him. He is weak. He cannot die. Yes, you are correct. I will find provisions. This better not be a scheme. You totally saw through my plan. <sighs> Did you see that? I tried sarcasm on for size, just like Chad Topplebottom said to do. And I liked it. <laughs> Are you okay? I am sorry I could not stop him. I am a failure. I do not belong here. It should have been Mary. She is much stronger and, and smarter than I am. I miss her. Even though I was nothing to her. I am nothing to anyone. You are the only one who ever treated me any differently. Remember that day I, that day I found you in the trenches? Oh, oh. You saved me that day. You saved me. And now we are here in this, in this crazy past world where people can walk around freely with no gas masks and, and no detention waivers and eat and drink and, and do whatever they want. <laughs> and I have no idea what to do next. The fate of so many rests on all of this, and I feel like I am failing. 
No. I, I am okay. He... He will not really hurt me. He needs us for some reason. I do not know. But... But Zion will find us. He is alive. I can feel it. Yes, Mary, I know. Time is running out. How can I help you today? You have food here, yes? Yes, it's all right there. Just point out what you'd like. Do you have a cheeseburger? No, that's the one thing we don't have. No meat. Anything else I can get for you? I'll take this, this, and this. Excellent choices. And how will you be paying? Paying? I want food. Sustenance. I understand, sir, but if you can't pay, then I'm going to have to ask you to leave. We got something. Yes, it is. We've got his location. What's the, uh, what's the plan, Mr. Zion? We are running out of time. Yeah, we must still find Michael Warrior, as well as Red Hand. I'm on it. Larry, get the van. Larry! Man, where the crap is Larry? He's got a car we can borrow. I do. He is not well. He healed Zion. Yeah. I know, the black holes are closest. Shh. Want to know a secret? I broke the time travel portal coming here. That stupid chair is useless, and you never needed a gas mask. Even if they save you, there is no returning. That is why I need the freak. 
Red Hand, as he is called here, because generation after generation, I will inform the nation of what happened and what will be. Red Hand will keep me alive. He will keep the nation alive. Are you not Hugo's assistant? Was Hugo's assistant? I'm in promoted. Mr. Devon here is going to take me to the future. But that is not possible. Quiet! I must keep them both alive, unfortunately. They are in contact no one. If anyone enters, throw these hard enough to break the seal. You say your allies are ready? Yes, sir. And they'll have the weapon thingies. Blow into this. They'll come. They too believe in whiteness. So, you really are the comic book dude. Honestly, I just thought this was all a bunch of bullshit. Another crazy theory that Hugo had cooked up. You dudes. Are definitely real. Should not proceed from here. It will be dangerous. Dude, danger is my middle name, bro. It is? Nah, I'm just messing with you. Well, you should stay here. It would be best. I'm sorry, man. I guess I uh not got much of a warrior. We all have our purpose. You've been a good ally to the rebel underground. Rebel? Yes, you are. I might not be uh, much of a warrior, but uh, you know a bunch of dudes that are. Dude, what are you doing? Hugo told us to look everywhere, so I'm looking everywhere. I gotta take a piss. Man, there's some kind of weird gravitational force in the Earth's atmosphere right now. Boards are going crazy. This is some real, I mean real crazy shit. You know what they say, man. It's all connected. What is? The universe. All beings. All things. Us. Matter. It's all connected. You really believe all that shit? Yeah, I do. And I just found Michael Warrior. What? Yo, Chad. This is no business of yours. Oh, this is exactly our business. We won't let our native brothers be oppressed. There's far too much of that in the past, and I'll be damned if it happens in the future. David, 
this would be too quick for what you deserve. The best thing you can do is die. The only death today will be yours. This is all very much more real than I thought. Um, Miss Larry, was it? Please don't talk. Um, you cannot trust Mr. Devitt. You cannot trust the nation. Dude, please be quiet. Um, it, it is true. There are others like you who need your help. Our help. Oh my god, shut up! Besides, Devitt broke the time for What? He told me himself. That asshole lied to me. Red Hand says get used to it. That's all they do in the future. No, no, you sit down. Larry, what the crap? I am appalled. You asshole! Larry, watch your mouth. Look, Matthew, they really like each other. You told me I was going to be in the new comic. I told you you'd be in the comic when you were ready. Well, when am I going to be ready? Station's Grasshopper. Oh my god, stop saying that. Oh shit. Oh shit. 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 Larry, Larry, shit. Larry, Larry, Larry. Larry. <laughs> Even if you kill me, the nation will rise. It is already happening. Up. We are stranded here. Devon broke the portal. Not according to Dad. Hugo, you are okay. Yes. Larry's a punk ass, apparently. Chad said you're fine. Black hole and everything is fine. Working, gravity, all that business. But we're running out of time. But we did not find Michael Warrior. Oh yes, we did. Michael Warrior. I will be happy to meet you. Red Hand, this is Michael Boyer, the savior of our race. Yes, yes sir. That cheeseburger, did we, Matthew? I mean, Red Hand. If if I don't make it back, will you tell Mary that? Well, you know. And Hugo, thank you for never treating me like I was inferior. Oh, Sir John, 
I'm the inferior one. Zion, you leaving a hero, man. No. The natives were the heroes today. No one's happy. Family would be proud of you, man. my honor to have these dreams, and it was my honor to serve you, serve you and all the native people. And I will forever, man. The reason we're all here. Okay. I just had a really, really weird dream.